Hi guys, today we're going to be shooting a flat lay of some beer cans and I'm going to show you how I did it using just one light. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Kevin Lawrence. I'm a photographer. I'm particularly interested in product photography and still life photography. So what I'm trying to do is just really just learn myself and I thought that I could create this YouTube channel so that uh, you guys could, could follow along and give me a little bit of accountability as well um, and maybe make a little bit of a community. Today we're going to be shooting this beer by West Brewery. They're a Glasgow based company. Uh, it's a great beer. I had some of them uh, sitting in the fridge. So do you know what? I thought, why not? Let's set up a nice flat lay and get some get some photos taken uh, just for a little bit of fun. So let's dive into it and, and I'll show you my setup. Okay guys, I'm just going to show you around the studio, show you what I've got set up um, and, and how we're how we're taking this photograph today. So let's just turn this around. Okay, so first things first, obviously, we've got our beer. And I've already started to set these, these cans up in a kind of pattern uh, that I quite like. And I've got the camera mounted uh, here to a C-stand. Here's a C-stand here. And also one thing to note is I've got the uh, the the C stand weighted down with a, a sandbag there, just in case we don't want this thing tipping over uh, and our camera to, to smash. That would be the worst thing in the world. So, like I say, I've got it set up above, pointing down, shooting at our subject. I've got the subject on a nice red bit of card. This is, uh, I mean, this is basically just a. A choice because the, the the cans themselves are that white and red so it will uh, the white will contrast nicely on the the red and the red of the can and the red of the 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 logo will match quite nicely uh, in the shot so what we've also got here is uh, the camera is tethered to my computer here and you can see I've got Capture One set up just now. W what you can see here is that it is set to live view at the moment. This is just so that I can dive in and start positioning the cans how I want them. What I've also got is I've got a large octagonal softbox uh, and the strobe light that I'm using today is the City 400 Pro by uh, Pixapro. For, um, in America, this is actually the AD 400 Pro, the Godox AD 400 Pro. They're, they're exactly the same light, uh, it's just this is the UK version. That's what we've got working with today, and um, I'm looking forward to getting, getting started. So let's jump in, let's start. What I'm gonna start doing is cleaning up the cans first and making sure they're in position nicely and then we'll start taking some shots and we'll start uh, you know m moving our light around and m making sure we're, we're happy with everything happy with the composition happy with the lighting we can get a really really nice shot all right Okay guys, so you can see here that uh, on the screen that I've got everything set up, ready to go how I want it. So there's a couple of things that I need to do. I need to, I need to now set my light and turn the, the room light off. First of all, I need to set this to 100 ISO 
it's sitting to 100. So our screen goes blank. That's that's absolutely correct, just because I've got it set to our aperture to f8, and the shutter speed is sitting at about 125. Anything between sort of 100 and, and maybe 250 is is perfect for the strobe, and I've got it set to f8. Uh, my if I look at my camera settings down here. Uh, we can see a little bit more detail and my color temperature is set to uh, 5600 Kelvin and this is set up uh, for for the light itself so let's take a shot and see what we get okay so I think it's a little bit underexposed uh, I want to keep the I think what we need to do is we need to increase our light power probably by a stop and see what we get Exposure is a lot nicer there. I think um, we're getting quite a, a lot, of, a lot, quite a lot of shadows down uh, uh, this area and, and and behind the cans themselves, which is nice. What we could do is we could try using a white card to bounce some of that light back. So. What we can do here is I'm just going to attach a bit of white card to my C stand, like so. Now that should help bounce back a little bit of light, and we'll take another shot. And if I click back to the first one, you can see that's just given a little bit more light on the, the right hand side here, at this point here, if you can see that, it just fills in just a little bit, which is which is perfect, it's what we're after. Now, the other thing that I'm just going to adjust slightly is the, the rotation on our cans. I like the composition, I like the angles. Let's take another shot. Looks good. And if we zoom in a little bit here as well, we can just check that everything we want is in focus. And look at that, that looks fantastic. The main can in the middle, we're actually getting just a touch of the 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 white line here. Um, which I'm actually going to, so I'm actually going to rotate the can slightly towards me and away from the camera. I still want to see that logo. I'm going to keep it nice and centered and we'll take a shot. Much better. I think that's a winner. Okay, so I'm pretty pleased with, with the result we've got so far. Um, there's, it just comes down to the setup um, and deciding, especially with flat lay, uh, how you want to compose the shot. That's what it comes down to. So I spent quite a little bit of time getting the, the positions of the cans perfect, uh, cleaning them up, making sure that, that they look great. The next stage for, for this particular project is to jump into Lightroom, start editing, and I'll also bring it into Photoshop as well and make any adjustments there if needed. So join me in the next video, guys, uh, for the editing of this. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up uh, and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. Uh, really appreciate it. Thanks very much. Thank you.